getting fancy now. Y'all like this background? Eh. Tragic. Hi, and welcome to my channel. I'm Allie Fitz, and I'm back with another video. And if you're new here, hello. I love you already. Make sure you slap that subscribe button to become part of the Fitz fam today. We pretty lit. It's true. Once you've done that, make sure to follow my social medias right here so you can stay connected with your girl and know all the tea first. But before we jump into today's video, I wanted to remind you that my song Tragic is available for pre-order right now, right as I'm speaking, today and yesterday and the day before, but you know what I mean. So make sure you go pre-order if you have not. Shout out to my people right here who already have. I love them, I love you guys. Kisses. But don't worry if you don't see yourself up here and you haven't gotten your iTunes gift card yet because you can still pre-order the song today and maybe you'll be in my next YouTube video. So yeah, the link is down below and it's also in my description and it's everywhere else. So make sure you pre-order. Oh, and I forgot to mention that if we get tragic charting on iTunes when it drops, then I owe you three weeks of episode back to back every single day. That sounds like a great deal to me. Make sure you tell everybody you know to pre-order the song and to stream. If you're ready to jump on into episode, click that like button because you know I am. But we can't do nothing without shouting out our gifters who make the gold choices happen on episode. Without you guys, we'd be wearing the ugliest clothing. We'd be doing the dumbest, most basic things. So a big thank you to Ambrose Bird, Kareem Hill, Aaliyah Lewis, Tyree McGill, and Jade Chapman. You guys, I love y'all. So without further ado, let's jump into episode. Chapter 22. Must have been uncomfortable. What, the couch? All night, tossing and turning on this old thing. I was fine until you showed up. Ooh. How about you sleep in my room tonight? It's definitely got more wiggle room. You really know how to turn the pants off of them, brother of mine. Literally. Tessa, I'm sorry about Cole. I hope you slept okay. It wasn't that bad. Well, my door's always open if you want a nicer place to sleep. Thanks. What, so he offers you his bed and it's all Jay's so sweet. But I make one little joke and I'm the bad one? Yes, actually. Oh, the tea. You know I'm mad. I'm, I'm real mad. I'm livid at Cole, so yes. Nice one, Cole. I never knew you had such keen self-awareness. Ooh. Are they bothering you, Tessa? Dang, I got all the men. No, I, I mean, kind of. No, it's fine. I was just about to go for a walk on the beach. Mind if I join? I wouldn't mind getting away from these knuckleheads for a while. Um, I guess, I don't really know you like that, but. Oh, we friends? Okay, well. Don't you love watching the sunrise? It's beautiful. He really cares about you, you know? I thought we was looking at the sun. Who? Cole? Yes, Cole. Remember when I told you how surprised you'd be about how Cole acted in military school? You mean how many fights he won and how many girls he dated? Actually, I've never seen Cole so disciplined. What do you mean? He was a model student. You're joking, right? Well, sure, there were a few times he wanted to punch a dude in the face, but for the most part, Cole was perfect. You never find him in detention. Straight A's. Hell, he would have graduated first in his class if he'd stayed. That's hard to believe. I know. I was shocked myself. He changed so much. But why? I mean, his go-to stance on anything is to be an asshole. So what changed for him? It was probably Erica, oh my goodness, that he had this girl he liked back home. And he wanted to be a better person. Me? <gasps> Was I the girl? Cut out all the bad shit he'd been doing. He can't be talking about me. I think that girl was you, Tessa. He was working so hard to one day get out of the academy and back to you. What? Cole really did all that for me? Little old me? Cole would do anything for you, Tessa. Uh. Yeah, but Erica though. Hey, baby. You're effing drunk. I'm fine. You worked so hard to get better. Why would you throw it away like this? I'm just going through a lot. So you need a drink? It helps me write. Hemingway said to write drunk, edit sober. Hemingway also killed himself. Really wanna be making that comparison? Look, it's just with mom and dad getting divorced and, and Tessa having such a hard time. The alcohol helps, all right? 
it doesn't help, babe. It numbs you. I felt like such crap at that party. I didn't know what I was drinking. It wasn't your fault. Cole knew you were trying to get sober. Hey, whoo! I almost ran into this and knocked it all over. Okay, I'm not Cole's responsibility. But he throws a rager at your house? Without asking, I could kill him. It's gonna be okay, baby. I'll get better, I promise. Don't promise me, promise yourself. Oh, she real mad. Where's Tessa? She didn't come home last night and she hasn't been home all day. She went on a spring break beach trip. Oh, that's hard to say with Cole and Jay. Didn't she tell you? Uh-oh. Thanks, Beth, you just, you just snitched. Great. Catch, shortcake. No thanks, I'm good on the sidelines. Suit yourself. Watch out, bro, here comes the sidearm. We don't really care because we don't like you, Cole. Now I know why we didn't make the playoffs this year. Shut up. Nice comeback. I think I'm done for the night. Come on, I was just kidding around. What a sore effing loser. Wanna go watch a movie or something? A movie with Jay? I guess that would be fun. Yes, and I look cute. <laughs> Please, no one wants to sniffle with you when the guy gets the girl. Cole. What? He obviously just wants to get you alone. Um, I'm gonna taunt Cole because he made me mad with the whole Erica situation. Why didn't he tell me about Erica? You know what, you know what? Especially if we was going on the spring break trip together. I'm taunting him. He gonna learn today. So what if he does? Damn, shots fired! All right, fine. Go watch your little rom-com. Cole, please, calm down. Don't tell me what to do. Hey, don't talk to her like that. What'd I just say? Back off, Cole. We'd all be having a great time if you were back home, moping about Nicole and how pathetic your life must be. Oh, what did you say? You heard me. Break up the fight, let them fight over you. Well, I would usually let the boys fight for me, but like, this is too much. We're on spring break, let's have a little fun. I didn't want us to fight. Yeah, 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 yeah. Break up the fight. Stop. Oh, it did. Please, stop. It's not stopping, uh-oh. What a freaking mess. Boys, right? Huh? Brothers always fight. Don't feel so flattered. Yeah, sure. Can you walk back over to where you were? Cause I'm not trying to stand next to you. Why is she talking to me? She's making me uncomfortable. Go ahead, punch me. Knock the shit out of me. I'm done fighting, Cole. <laughs> You've always been a coward. You'll never get Tessa to love you the way she loves me. Who said I still loved you? Not if you can't fight for what you believe in. You think Tessa will want you back just because you gave me a black eye? <laughs> Wake up, Cole. This whole trip we've been at each other's throats, and for what? You think Tessa cares if you can kick my ass or throw a frisbee? Did you ever once think to ask how Tessa feels? Ooh, Jay. Look, I appreciate the whole chivalrous thing. I can't say that word. Ah, uh, chivalrous, chival, whatever. Let's fight for my heart thing. But maybe Jay's right. This isn't Game of Thrones. Tessa, I don't understand how you keep coming up with new ways to hurt me. It's like no matter what I do, it's not enough for you. I'm sorry I'm not perfect, but I'm trying my best. Sometimes I wonder if you have any idea the amount of pain you cause me on a daily basis. Oh? Well, same, same. Uh-oh. I think I just majorly screwed that up. If I want any shot with Cole, I have to make it up to him. I'm not making anything up to him. He should be making things up to me. What? No. Live with your mistake. Was that the wrong thing to do? I don't know. We'll find out. Yikes. I had no idea he felt that way. I think I really hurt him. Cole's such a baby. That's the understatement of the year. Don't worry. I know how to cheer him up. How? Um, and she ran? Um, what was that about? Seriously? I'm frustrated. Wanna talk? <sighs> Not really. You know, you don't have to string Cole along like this. Or me. I'm not stringing you along. Okay. I think I'd rather just be alone. I hope you figure things out, Tessa, because with the way things are going, well, 
I just don't want to lose you, you know, as a part of my life. Neither do I. Yikes, things are getting awkward. I want to go home. How long is spring break? I need a real friend right now. Someone to confide in, not Jay or Cole. Call Beth, call Megan, call Nicole. Why would I ever call Nicole? Ew. Um, I'm definitely calling uh, Megan because Beth is gonna hit me with the truth and I don't have time for that. I want somebody to tell me what I wanna hear. T. So I'm calling Megan. I better call Megan, she'll know what to say. See? That was a stupid idea, Tessa. Why'd you bring Jay in the first place? Because you and Beth told me to. You do everything Beth tells you to do? No, ugh, that's not the point. That's the reason they're fighting over you and Cole's getting all butthurt. Look, I don't wanna argue about circumstances I can't change. Then why'd you call me? Ugh, you're supposed to be my friend. Advise me. Stop pining after Jay. You're stringing him along for no reason. And Cole lied to you. There's no excuse for that. But you still need to confront him about it. Make things right. Ugh, oh, fine, I better go anyway. Okay, bye! Oh, wait, I forgot to tell you. Nicole's not getting expelled. What? Yeah, better watch your back at school next week. Megan, there's a rumor going around that you tried to get her expelled. What? Oh, if it's not one thing, it's another, Megan, girl. I'll call you back. Tessa, thank God. I was getting a little tired of the boys talking about football. Hey, Shortcake, I'm, uh, sorry about earlier. Yeah, me too. Cole and I talked it over and we agreed, no more fighting. At least not at the beach. I'm sorry for being so antisocial. Oh, it's fine, honey. I get tired of it too. If I weren't dating one of these Luddites, I don't know what that is. T, what's a Luddite? Me. Hey, now that Tess is here, why don't we have a game night? That sounds fun. Cool, what do you wanna play? Can we play Twister? How about Never Have I Ever? I've always hated this game. I hate this game and I hate Truth or Dare. They're both dumb. How do you play that? The game's simple. I'll go first. Never have I ever dated someone younger than me. Now, if you dated someone younger than yourself, drink. This game's gonna be rough. Tell me about it. And five missed calls from Travis. I'm in trouble. Never have I ever gone skydiving. Cole's gone skydiving? Never have I ever driven the speed limit. Oh, come on. Hey, I haven't, heavy foot. Wow, I got a drink too. All right, Tessa's turn. Now's your chance. Shit, I'm so nervous. Whew. Never have I ever lied to someone about a past relationship. Oh, the pettiness is strong with this one. You heard the lady. Drink up, Cole. Never have I ever gone to a party with one date and then left with another. T. Oh my gosh. That's really specific. Dang, I just triggered everybody in the room. Never have I ever made out in a whirlpool with Erica. Oh my goodness. Well, aren't you gonna drink, Cole? Wow. That was perfect, but y'all know that I'm already going back in for more. But that was a perfect way to end that episode. Woo! Chapter 23. See, he's gonna be so mad. Never have I ever made out in a whirlpool with Erica. Well, aren't you gonna drink, Cole? So, this is awkward. Shut up, Lan. I'm done playing. Just drink, it's no big deal, Cole. We're all friends here. No big deal? Cole! This is crazy, but I don't know. That was a petty way to go about it, Tessa, but I like it. What were you thinking? What were you thinking? You lied to me, Cole. She meant nothing. Yeah, that's what they all say. Oh, she meant nothing? Then rob her. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Then why is she here on our spring break vacation? Because she's my best friend's girlfriend. Jesus. I just don't believe anything he says anymore. I don't. Really? You're gonna peddle that bullshit again? You're one to talk, never have I ever. <laughs> that was weak. It worked, didn't it? Look, Tessa, so me and Erica had a thing. I don't care about her anymore. I care about you. I'm not falling for it again. What was it you told me the other day? 
I'd never lie to you, shortcake. Look, I didn't want to tell you about Erica because it wasn't like we were even dating. It was just a one-time thing, back when I was fooling around. Yeah. Oh, so you just screwed around a little bit. Yeah, that makes it better. That's not what I said. But it's true, isn't it? Would you just let me explain? We saw each other for like a week, back in military school. You still lied to me about it. I barely even remember it happening. Do you still love her? What? Love her? No, I never loved her. Are you kidding me? How do I know that you're not lying to me about that? You know I've been with a lot of girls. That's a fact. You can't hold my past against me. Can't I? No, don't you get it? I'm done with sleeping around. All I want is you. That's why I invited you in the first place, just to be with you, to prove my love for you. You want Erica gone? She's gone. Land too. I'll kick them all out if it makes you happy. All I want is you, Tessa. Dang. Okay, you still can't believe Cole lied and he's not getting off that easy. You're annoyed, but you begrudgingly forgive him. I feel like that's the type of person I am. Like. Even though I be mad, I do be forgiving people just because I don't like to burn bridges. Because once the bridges burn, we ain't building another one. It might take like 10 years plus construction. Y'all know how it is with construction workers. They don't be doing stuff overnight. So yeah, I'm gonna forgive him. Being with you is like being in a Nicholas Sparks novel. I'm sorry for lying to you. I wasn't thinking and just shut up. I forgive you. I guess we cool now. You do? Yes, I don't want to talk about it anymore and don't ever lie to me again. I swear on my brother's life. You hate your brother. Exactly. Ah, Cole! Just kidding, I promise, shortcake. Uh. Well, that was a huge potty foul. Erica. No, she needs to hear this. What exactly are you trying to achieve? I, I. You what? Wanted to trick Cole? Ruin a good time? I thought you and Cole were gonna have a great time together. He told me how much he loves you, how great you are for him. This was supposed to be your weekend. And then you bring Jay along, which whatever, fine, Jay's cool, but still. Kind of a dick move. I'm standing right here. And then on top of the Jay thing, you ruin our fun by trying to humiliate Cole and making it all about you and your drama. That's not what I was trying to do and you know it. Your choices have consequences, Tessa. Cole and I are over. I'm with Land now. Or don't you respect relationships? Girl, I don't know who you getting big with. Ask Land how he can trust Erica knowing the truth. Yep, she yelling at me, so I'ma start some stuff. How can you trust her? Who, me? Don't bring me into this. No, I'm serious. I've seen the way she looks at Cole. You're basing this on a look? How dare you? You do not bring my boyfriend into your bullshit. I know what I saw. You've got some nerve. Lan, are you pissed too? I would be if my girlfriend lied to me. She's never lied to me, Tessa. What? I knew that she and Cole kind of hooked up. It's not a big deal. So everyone else knew except me. Great. Look, we're all really good friends here. And yeah, maybe Cole and I are Eskimo brothers, but we don't care. <gasps> um, what the hell is an Eskimo brother? You don't want to know. Anyway, what's the big deal? Erica's with me now. Cole likes you, Tessa. And no one else. You're all he ever talked about in military school. And Cole, shape up, man. Tessa did this because she cares about you. Can't you see that? He's spilling all the tea. Maybe never have I ever isn't the best way of showing it off. That's why you don't play that game. But that's what it boils down to, bro. And Erica, nothing's coming between us, ever. I promise you that, babe. Oh, okay. Okay, they can stay in their relationship as long as Erica don't try to stray over in my lane. Please, I'm not in the mood, Cole. Come on, Tessa, Land's right. What's the big deal? I still don't know if I can trust you. Ooh. Never have I ever embarrassed myself at a party. Lan! Come on everyone, take a drink. I've actually never embarrassed myself at a party. Yeah, right. Just saying. Just drink. 
<laughs> All I'm saying is, even though Cole, Eric, and I went to a military school for misfits, We've all got complicated pasts. I've done shit at parties I've regretted. But don't let it get in the way of love. Aw, oh, land smart. That's really sweet, babe. We've definitely all been there. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to make you feel bad. Are we good? Yeah, we're good. Where am I going? I just walked off? Wow. Oh, I went to go find Jay. Oh, I forgot about him. Yikes. You got a second? Poor Jay, I feel like I've been mean to him this whole game. All the time in the world. I'm, uh, sorry. I don't know why you're apologizing to me. I'm trying to do the right thing, Jay. Maybe the right thing would have been considering my feelings. What are you talking about? You really don't know? I can't believe you invited me here. This was never about you wanting to be with me. This was about Cole and his stupid drama. Jay, that's not true. I did want you here. You can have Cole. You two are a perfect match. I'm leaving. Goodbye, Tessa. Well, what's wrong with Loverboy? Jay, come on, dude. Don't be like that. We can still enjoy our last day at the beach. Let him go be a wet blanket someplace else. Good riddance. Tessa, aren't you gonna do something about this? Frick, stay with Cole to figure out your relationship. Run after Jay, you have to make things right. Forget Jay and Cole, you don't wanna be around boys. <laughs> I do wanna say forget them both, to be honest. Oh my goodness. Yeah, forget them both. I should just let Jay leave. I dragged him down here anyway, used him to make Cole jealous, and for what? So I could ruin any chance of being with Jay or Cole? I need to be alone. Come on, Shortcake. With Jay gone, now the real fun can begin. Think I've had enough fun. Don't let Jay get you down. He's gonna listen to Death Cab for cutie. And get over you faster than Bella Thorne got over Tyler Posey. T. Be nice. Why don't we play some more games, hmm? No thanks, I think I have a headache. I'm ready for bed. Why don't you sleep with me tonight? I'd rather sleep with the undead. T, oh my gosh. Sure, I could give you a massage, you know, since you're feeling so tense. No, really. I'm just gonna sleep in Jay's room, since he's gone now. You really turned down one of my world-famous massages? I think I just did. Bye. Good night. Sorry about earlier again. This is awkward. She's gonna be fine. Yeah, she'll get over the whole you and me hookup stuff in no time. I lied to her. You did what you thought was right to protect her. Better she know about us than, you know, everything else. What you mean? Huh? Yeah, you're right. She may be mad at me now, but she can't know. Know what? She'd never forgive me for it. Um, Cole? Uh-oh, I forgot about Travis. Eight missed calls from Travis? I'm dead, I'm in trouble. Oh no, this is the worst. You have three new voicemail messages. Listen to voicemail? Wait, is it gonna play? I'm turning the ringer on. I can't believe you, Tessie. To run off like that with Cole Stone and not tell me? I'm gonna find Cole. And I'm gonna make him effing wish he never came back to Middleton High. Oh my God. Travis! I forgot about Travis. What? Sorry, I thought the ringer was gonna do something. Can we talk about it first? No time! We have to leave now! Oh my gosh. Oh, whoa. Well, if it isn't my little baby sister. Travis! I'm so sorry, I totally forgot to tell you, but, but, but I'm in good hands. Jay and Cole and Cole's friends, Erica and Lan, we just hung out and played frisbee and... I thought I told you to stay away from my sister. Look, dude, I don't want any trouble. Did you touch her? What? No, man. Did he touch you, Tessa? You're being weird. Please, just leave Cole alone. I'll come home now. Just don't hurt anyone. How irresponsible can you be? Isn't that my call in the kettle black? Look at you, loaded and driving. I thought you were trying to get sober. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Please stop! I'm not gonna fight you, bro. You're wasted. Um, this is too much. What's going on? Um, yeah. Stop it! Oh, I'm screaming. 
Whoa, what a crazy way to end. Okay, so what we can gather from uh, these two episodes is that my brother just drove drunk to this beach house to beat up Cole because I did not call him and tell him where I was. I don't know where I am in my relationship with these boys, as usual. Like, I like Cole, but he lied to me. And then he's keeping a bigger secret, which Tessa doesn't know about, but we know now. I, if Erica was pregnant at one point, it's over. And I promise you this time, I will switch to Jay's team so fast. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up and share it with your friends. Let everybody know about this episode T. Don't forget to follow my social medias here and put those notifications on so you can know everything first. I spill all the tea on my Instagram and Twitter. It's what I do. And again, don't forget to pre-order Tragic right now if you haven't. The link is down in the description. Do it so we can chart it so I can make some episode videos for y'all every day. So have a great day in the name of the Lord, and may God bless you every step.